All right, so just a little update. I got myself two new Bibles. I got myself the newest edition of, an, of the academic Bible that I use. So this will be up to date with the current archaeology, I guess. And I got myself my second literal interpretation. So this is the ESV study Bible. This is a literalist interpretation, and this is the one that most Calvinists use as their study Bible. So at least that's from what I understand. So we got a literalist interpretation and an academic interpretation. The original version I was studying out of was one of these. It was, I think, the second edition or third edition. So now I have the fifth and the current. This just came out this year. And I have the ESV uh, study. So that should liven up the conversations about the Bible just a bit. Here, you know what? Let me open it up for you guys. Here, just to show you what it's like. All right, so this is... the NRSV and so you have all this material up here and then when you get to the actual chapter you'll have the chapter up here and then you have the commentary down here and the commentary explains all of that and then it has see so it has corresponding history to so actual history corresponding with biblical history where that where they connect where they disconnect again so you have the uh, the text up here, the study material down here, and this is an ecumenical Bible, so it should have the expanded apocrypha. So let's see here. So it has First Maccabees, which is standard for Catholic fair. It has Second Maccabees, which is standard for Orthodox Catholic, and it should have Third Maccabees. So we have address here. And we do have the extra Psalms, and we do have 3rd Maccabees, so it is in here. So the extra material, 2nd address, so yeah. So yeah, so the expanded, ooh, 4th Maccabees, look at that. So yeah, we got all the expanded material. And then we get to the New Testament. With the ESV, on the other hand, this one takes things more literal. It should have these little cool little drawings in here. Notice it's the same setup. Uh, what I really like is on the Jewish study Bible, it actually has the, the study material on the side of the material instead of underneath, which is really nice. Now, like I said, this one's a more literal interpretation. So the information that it has on the bottom is a little doubtful. It's not as uh, academically accurate, but it is more uh, probably, if you take the Bible literal, it's more what you probably want to hear. One of the reasons why I bought it it's because it has little drawings of all the, uh, should be in Exodus or Numbers when they're building the tabernacle. There we go. So yeah, so it has this stuff, which is really cool. So at least for the art alone, this is going to be a good, a good purchase. Anyway, that's the difference between an academic Bible, a canonical. This one has all the expanded stuff. Well, this one, this one doesn't have any of the expanded this one doesn't have any of the expanded material, so there's no second Maccabees in here or any of that kind of stuff. Let me see. So yeah, so if you can take a look, see? It doesn't even have the Maccabees in here. So that's the difference between a uh, Protestant ESV study Bible that's literal versus an ecumenical Bible that is going to be taking things more metaphorically. All right. Anyway, peace, like, subscribe, talk to you all later. Bye.